This is a short demonstration of the new U-Level app. First, we'll turn our Bluetooth on. Now we'll start the app. Right now, we're showing the generic Laird BL652. By the time you get this, uh, this weekend, this will be showing U-Level. So you'll simply tap on that to, to get it started. If you have any trouble connecting, you may have to turn the Bluetooth on and off. If the app tries to connect with another Bluetooth device before it picks up on the U-Level, it may not recognize the U-Level until you turn it off and start it back again. So if you have any trouble, start it back. You can always hit this little cog and go back to the Laird. And that, uh, if you have any trouble going, that's the way you go back and forth and connect it. We're showing the 22.6. We'll scroll through here. There's uh, centimeters. This is feet, inches, and fractions. There's just inches and fractions. There's feet, inches, and tenths of an inch. And there's our inches and tenths of an inch, which is what I like, but I think a lot of the hardscape like, the, like this in the fractions. Now to save the readings, you simply hit the save reading button here. Now we can save the reading as it is, just like that. We can go back and view it here. Or we can come in, we can save the reading, and we can put a comment with it. Now we have voice recognition. It doesn't always recognize my Tennessee draw test data. did that time. We'll go back and view that reading. So you can make notations wherever you are. You can view these in Excel. You can send them in Excel, just like you'd send any other document. We'll go through and save a couple of our others. Let's scroll through to uh, there's centimeters. Not many here are going to use centimeters. There's feet, inches, and fractions. We can save that. We can scroll through to inches and fractions, we can save that one. Go back to inches and tenths. Then we can view our readings. Once again, you can see them in Excel, and you can send them in Excel. Now, if you are finished with the job, all you have to do to delete it is just scroll, then right off the screen. And you can start all over again. Now the device does use more power in Bluetooth mode, so if you're not using this in Bluetooth, it's a good idea to keep this turned off.